it's Casey Martin from Wine Country Pens, and in this video I'm going to be casting some worthless wood blanks out of this wood, which is some oak burl, and then I'm also going to be using some olive root burl that you'll see right here. Both are really pretty woods. The oak burl I got from a very nice guy named Paul who watched one of my videos, and he sent me out some wood a long time ago, and I'm going to repay him by sending him some nice grapevines. So, Stay tuned to the end of this video to see what I'm going to be doing with this wood that or this worthless wood blanks that I'm casting because it's definitely going to be pretty cool what I end up doing with them. So I end up using my bottle stopper blank that can make about three bottle stoppers for the olive root burl because it's a little more of an awkward shape. And then I'm actually using one of my pen blank molds for the oak burl. And for the oak burl, it's going to be vertical blanks, or that it can be cut into. It could be cut into about three knife scales or five pen blanks. And then the olive root burl, that can just kind of be into anything. So right now, I am weighing out some alumalite resin. That's the resin I use. You have to weigh it out part A and part B to the same exact weight. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing one solid color for each casting. The oak burl is going to be blue with a lot of nice pearlescence in it and then the olive root burl is going to be a pretty dark deep green with a lot of white pearlescence in it as well so stay tuned the coloring should be coming up pretty soon. So if anyone's curious about the dyes and powders I use, the dyes I use are Alumalite dyes. You can just get those from Alumalite themselves, of course. And then the powders I use are called Pearlex powders. They're made by Jackwire products or something like that. You can find them just on the internet by Googling Pearlex. But they have tons of different colors. As you can see on my casting table, I got a little sample pack a long time ago and they last forever at least for casting. So right now I'm mixing up the green and in a second right now I'll be mixing up the blue. I'll give you guys a, co a close up shot in a few seconds of what they look like. I think they look great. I'm always a little biased towards blue because blue is my favorite color. But I think the green looks really nice as well. It's almost like a teal color. There's what they look like before they go into the pressure pot. And here's what they look like when they have came out and I've cleaned them up. And for the really fun part, you guys get to see what it looks like when it gets wiped down with some denatured alcohol. And you can really see what it looks like when it shines. I think it's going to turn into some really nice products. And I'm really excited to see what they are turned into. So I'm looking forward to that for sure.
Alright everyone, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I definitely enjoyed making these blanks and making the video for you guys. So what I'm going to be doing with these is I'm going to be giving them away to you, the viewers, and the subscribers. So I'm thinking this guy could be cut into about five pen blanks or three knife scales. So ultimately up to you guys to decide. And then this guy could be cut into about three bottle stopper blanks or two very large knife scales. And for who gets them, it's really random. I think if you guys will like the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, definitely. I'll kind of choose at random. If you guys want to share the video, that would definitely be awesome. You guys don't have to do that, of course, but that would be great. And then let me know what you guys think I should do with them. Although if I cut this into five pen blanks, more people would get a part of it. I do think with this type of block, it would be better to cut it into knife scales. But like I said, ultimately it's up to you guys. So I wanted to give a special thank you to my past subscribers who have been watching my content for a while. It's really satisfying and fulfilling to know that you guys have stuck with me and I recently hit the thousand subscriber milestone, which is really awesome. That happened a couple weeks ago and now I just recently hit 1.5 thousand. So it's pretty, satisfying to know that everyone's enjoying my content. So if you have subscribed, please do so. I definitely try to take recommendations into consideration all the time for future videos and definitely like to make content that everybody finds enjoyable. So like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section and have a great one everyone. Take it easy.